this is what I got. Uh, seems like it'll work perfect because once I put this down here, if it all works, I'll just cut this, just leave the cup. And now for this to sit on the sleeve, and then the top, I could actually cut around right here because where it sits, you can't really see because of the light, but it sits in a slight like cup right here. So the spring wouldn't actually pop off. So that freaking works out great. Uh, so, so far, everything looks like it'll work. Uh, and it, if it happens to fit and this is still too long, the spring, and makes it look too high, I could always, once I cut this and just leave the cup, I could always lower the actual sleeve down so it'll actually lower the car. I'm still concerned about travel. You know, bottom out eventually. So, plan for that would be making a top hat to make this extend up higher, obviously, so it doesn't bottom out as soon. Uh, but I'll give this a try. Do both, do the other one. Drive it around, see how it rides, and then if it all seems like it'll work good, then I'll come and cut this. Maybe trim this down some so it's not so big. and. So as far as I can tell it worked, uh, you rock it, feels a lot better, but going with that, it's also like an inch and a half taller, which is tall, the back already was, because it's air all the way up, but now it looks, actually like how it looks, it looks more stockish, but the front really needs to go down some more. But right now the stopper on the coil is right on the cup for the spring. So once I cut that in half around, I should be able to lower that at least half inch to an inch. And it'll give a little bit of a rake look when the, the rear is lifted. Then once the rear goes down, as, as fuel level goes down, then I'll take some air out. That way it's, it's even. So. About to go drive it. For long right now, I've only gone probably by block. But the ride quality is dip so different. The back is really bouncy because it's at 70 psi, which is what most people run it when they're full load. Which gas gas tank is not not even full, but. Like, I don't know, like it's different, it's not as bouncy, it's not as smooth, but it feels like it handles a lot better. So I'm uh I'm gonna pump some gas right now, fill the tank up, that way it's ready for tomorrow. Uh but overall I think if if anything if I lower the the pressure down a little bit in the back it'll be a little softer. And it'll be Riding a lot better, but it already feels like it does. But I might take it off again, cut that cup at the bottom. That way I can uh, lower a little more in the front, and then go from there. But uh, overall, I, I like it much better. So. What I really need to do is add a extension onto the fuel cell because it's like way down there. But it works so. Fill this baby up, take some air out, see how it rides after that. I think you gotta figure out. So I got that cut. As you can see, it's just enough for that to sit, which eliminates this whole cup, which doesn't even make sense for this size spring. Obviously different now. So now I have this. Normally, you'd have the spring, obviously without stock spring in there. Then you'd have this top hat with this little bearings here that you no longer even buy, so whatever. Uh, so I'm eliminating that, and that way this can sit higher and eventually allow some more travel. So I'm just going to go straight to this, then it goes under the shock tower, then this here locks it in place now 
and then this will actually sit higher which travels a little more and it helps a lot so hopefully it rides a little better but it actually looks like a coil over now without all those extra cups for the big ass springs in I'll throw this on, pull the other side out, cut it, throw it back on and go for another test drive and hopefully tug good. Then I can go get it lined.